I'll be back there again, possibly or not. Give me Exodus 34, 27. And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. So he spent, read the verse again at the top. And the Lord said unto Moses, write thou these words. For after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. Come on. And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. Moses spent 40 days and 40 nights with the Lord. Read on. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. He fasted the entire time. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights like Christ did when Satan tempted him. Same thing. Go ahead. Because and Moses was talking to Christ during this time. Read on. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand. When he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone. Moses did not know that the skin of his face was shining. Go ahead. While he talked with them. So while he talked, so while he talked with them. Go ahead. And when Aaron... And all the children of Israel saw Moses. Behold, the skin of his face shone. It was shining. And they were afraid to come nigh him. Imagine you come up to a brother, his face is glowing. That's scary. Moses had to glow. That was the last dragon. He had to, he had to glow. Read on. And Moses called unto them. And Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him. And Moses talked with them. Come on. And afterward, all the children of Israel came now. When they realized it was okay to go, when they realized it was Moses, they came forward. Go ahead, because they were scared. Go ahead. And he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Go ahead. Now it's a lot more than Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are simply just the foundation of all the laws that were written. Many others were in compilation with the Ten. Read on. Some of the Ten is just the base. Go ahead. Until Moses had done speaking with them. He put a veil on his face. Read again. Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. So Moses wore a veil on his face when he spoke to them because his, his face was shining. So to dim the light on his face, he wore a veil. Read on. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off. He took his covering off. Go ahead. Until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. Right. You know, Moses, so I go show you the veil right there, the veil. Moses wore a veil to cover the shining or the glory that was on his face for the people so they can see him. Now, get me... 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 4. We end on this last time. 2 Corinthians. This is the end of the sure mercies of David class. It's the end of it. I'm going to go there again take you back now. Go ahead. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 4. And such trust have we through Christ to Godward. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament. Of the what? Of the New Testament. Of the what? Of the New Testament. No, the soon-to-be New Testament. Of the New Testament. No, the one to be ushered in soon. Of the New Testament. Of the New Testament. Go ahead. Not of the letter. Not of what? Not of the letter. Not of the letters of Moses. Go ahead. But of the Spirit. Of the Spirit of Christ. Go ahead. For the letter killeth. For what? For the letter killeth. For the letter killeth. Go ahead. But the spirit giveth life. How does the letter kill? We read it earlier. Cursed be he that confirmeth not to do the words in his book. Give me Hebrews 10 and 28. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 28. is an example of how the letter kills. He that despised Moses' law. That what? Despised Moses' law. Come on. Died without mercy. Died what? Died without mercy. Without what? Without mercy. Without grace. Without repentance. No justification. No reconciliation. No atonement. Without mercy. Go ahead. Under two or three witnesses. Under two or three witnesses. Now, 
Go back to 2 Corinthians again. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. Who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament. Come on. Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious. You read it earlier, written and engraven in stone. Exodus 34. Read again. But if the ministration of death. Of what? Of death. Of what? Of death. The ministration of death is the letter that kills without mercy by two or three witnesses. Because under Moses' law, there were animals that, you could, that could not be used to atone for sins that you were guilty of. We've read a, a number of them in Deuteronomy 27, verse 15 and down. And we agreed to those terms of the covenant. Read on. Written and engraven in stones was glorious. It was glorious, go ahead. So that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance. So the, the administration of death was glorious so much so that people could not behold Moses' face when he came down with the tables of stone. We read that earlier in Exodus 34. Read on. Which glory was to be done away. Be, to be what? Done away. Which glory was to be what? Was to be done away. Done away. Go ahead. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? Read again. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious. How shall not the, read again? I'm sorry. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? So that's the ministration of the Spirit is more glorious. Go ahead. For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, if the condemnation ministration be glory, go ahead. Much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. Meaning the Spirit of Christ is more glorious than the ministration of Moses. Go ahead. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect. Now, hold on, hold on. Give me Romans 8, verse 1. Where we at? Wait, sorry, read verse 9. I'm sorry. Read verse 9. Where we, then we'll jump down. Wait. Verse read 9. On. For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. Meaning the new covenant exceeds in the glory of the old. Give Romans 8, verse 1. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. <clears throat> There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Read again. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. There is therefore what? Now. No, later. Now. No, later on. Now. There is therefore now. No condemnation. Now. Oh, now. During this time, now when Christ died, there is therefore now. No Small words, big meaning. Now, at this time, read on. No condemnation. No death. No condemnation. Go ahead. To them which are in Christ Jesus. To them which are in Christ Jesus, who accept Christ's death. Go ahead. Who walk not after the flesh. Who sin. Go ahead. But after the Spirit. Will work, it would walk in administration of the Spirit. Verse 2. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Read verse 2 again. For the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ. Go ahead. Hath made me free. Made me what? Free. What? Free. Earlier in Galatians 2, it says that the false brethren came in unawares to spy out our what? Liberty that we have in Christ. Liberty, freedom. Read again. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. The law of what? Sin and death. The law of sin and death. The law of sin and death. You die without mercy if you despise Moses' law by two or three witnesses. You understand? Now, go back to 2 Corinthians 3 verse 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that which is done away was That which glory, what? For if that which is done away... No, which will be done away. Which is done away. No, will be ushered in later on. Is done away. No, no, not, not, not quite is. Is done away. Read from the top. 
For if that which is done away, well, if that which is is done away, go ahead. Was glorious. Was what was glorious. Go ahead. Much more, that which remaineth is glorious. That which is in effect now, new covenant is more glorious because it grants us freedom from being put to death. We don't. Oh, hold on. Let me see. What verse you? What verse you in? Verse twelve. Now. Hold on. Let me make sure I don't want to lose my place. 